Right guys, Mark Crossfield here, Chrome Malloy. I'm Chrome Mollying my JPX 900 hot metal club. Let's show you what Chrome Malloy might do for your game. We're going to hit some real ball data as always. Chrome Molly. Oh, Chrome my Molly. Here we go then, JPX 900 Hot Metals. Chrome Molly, Chrome Molloy 4140M. New material, allowing Mizuno, they're saying, to make the thinnest face they've ever made, while at the same time using variable face thickness. All there to try and deliver those ball speeds as most consistent as they can across different hit points on the face. As I've been saying for years, and hopefully you've learned now, center hits are pretty much there. The more they can keep those ball speeds across the face, the better you might get at hitting a consistent distance. And with the advantage of using Crow Molly, okay, then uh, <laughs> they're trying to do that. Now it looks pretty good for an iron that's trying to deliver all these powerful things. We get a um, very powerful face, like they're saying, in the thickness, power frame. Now you're also getting on this club, ready for this a 360 cut face design <laughs> and we've heard that from other clubs haven't we and you can see it it's basically carved out all around the outside of the club and i know from another manufacturer that does really make a difference to the way the club reacts now i've got a six iron we've got four iron wedges there as well going to give the six iron a hit here 360 club uh, cut face design with crow molly feels like a rocket you know this is hot my metal this really does go looking forward to seeing the numbers because i imagine they're going to be out there spins probably going to be down um distance going to be up now it looks good let's the next to no offset tiny bit of offset medium to thick top line power frame they're um firming up the top lines and stuff they're saying to try and keep ball speeds up got a four iron as well here you see a little bit of the head out the back, thick top line, medium to thick soles. I think as game improvement iron goes, you know, you're going to ultimate game improvement with these, so across the face, but you're still delivering very pretty Mizuno looks in its kind of white satiny finish and chrome finish. I've also got a wedge here. When you go into the gap wedge, the lobs, so the pitching wedge is the same, it is chrome molly, but when you go into the gap, lob and sand wedge it's produced not from chrome molly they're saying they're using a softer material for that kind of more gaming clubs as well um, i'm going to give the six iron another hit this is your rocket going off power iron cup faced club isn't it really it's it's there for that launch monitor era and that is just going boom as high for these balls as well out there so we will look at the numbers let's have a four iron a hit as well here now the four iron does look pretty good apart from you do see a bit of the head out the back again not masses amount of offset i think people picking clubs up and wanting them to look a certain way these are definitely going to do that while offering as much kind of friendliness as possible oh yeah that's just ridiculous I think if I had a four iron, <coughs> excuse me, in this set, I would actually game it. I do feel like I could hit this one, no problem, because of its weight off the face a bit more. Yeah, it does feel nice. I mean, it feels good. It's loud. It's what I would expect from this kind of club. Let's look at some of the numbers. Um, I like its finish. It's chunky. It's got 360 cut face design. <laughs> That is close to the knuckle, isn't it? Um, weight, heel and toe. And it's, I mean, who doesn't want chromoly? I've always wanted chromoly. So, JPX 900 hot metals, six iron going 175, topping out at 179. Uh, I reckon I could get this six iron going into the 180s, 185s if I actually jumped on it, which is a big six iron for me. Peaking height at 32, so it's still getting up in the air, launching at 17 degrees. So it's launching quite high, it's going quite far, and the six iron was spinning at four at 5,100 revs. To be honest with you, as game improvement clubs go, you know, super fast bats trying to whack it miles different lofts those kind of things five one spin isn't too bad for my normal five and a half with a bladed iron so actually quite impressed with those numbers considering the ideas and the makeup of the club if we go to the four iron got one out there at 203 dropping down to 189 on my shorter hit 
averaging 195, peaking height at 27, which was fine. Uh, spinning at 3.8, again, a nice jump between my 4-iron and 6-iron in spin rates, which is very rare when you start going up to these kind of really super game improvement irons. Quite impressed with those numbers. I do quite like the look of them. I used to use clubs like these. I think these are much better than EZ. I think they're more refined in the way they look. So the JPX EZ uh, from before, which I've used, I think this one is really keeping in line with what um, uh, JPX brand 900 is kind of doing at the moment, all looking quite nice. And to be honest with you, not bad numbers from a club that's a little bit on steroids. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.